rocking with pettyblog.com. I can't be on the petty blog. <laughs> oh, petty. So they already know that I'm dropping the tea. So let's get right into it. And in case some of you may have missed what happened, long story short, the Migos group members Quavo and Takeoff were invited to Jazz Prince's birthday celebration in Houston. And Jazz Prince is Jay Prince Sr.'s son. And Jay Prince is big in the city of Houston. He's the CEO of rap -A -Lot Records. He owns a boxing gym. He's a big boss, an OG, and very well respected. So yeah, so his son Jazz Prince's birthday was October 30th. So the party was basically on Halloween night. And while in Houston, there was some kind of basketball game earlier that day that Quavo played in amongst the mob ties peoples and he allegedly lost and Quavo was supposedly salty about it but then at the actual birthday celebration at the Billiards bowling alley there was a dice game that he also allegedly lost and allegedly to the same dudes from the basketball game earlier and that's why in the argument you can hear them mentioning the b-ball game <laughs> And I cannot not mention this. So basically, Jay Prince's other son, Jay Prince Jr., him and his mob ties peoples or whatever, they be hosting dice games. And another person lost their life back in September. And it was supposedly because of a dice game as well. That's the speculation. Mind you, a mob ties dice game at that. And his name was Duke the Jeweler. So RIP to him. So yeah, this dice game led to the argument and a witness that was there claimed that Quavo was losing bad and eventually they got into it verbally and Takeoff, who was just there, as you guys see, unfortunately got in the crossfire and was hit at least twice by two different at that, according to reports. Unbelievable. And the unnamed witness who already proved that they were there as they provided pictures and details and video before it even hit the media says that one of their own mob ties homies did it. And of course, on accident. And fans have been holding Jay Prince's other son, Jay Prince Jr., responsible. Not that he did it, but in a sense because they claim that it was his job to protect the Migos, yet his peoples allegedly caused this. Plus, they're saying that, you know, both sides were his peoples, as clearly they were all invited to the same private event. And fans are particularly upset that he was seen on camera, you know, because somebody was recording, walking away from Takeoff's body that was just laying there. Mm. And as y'all can see right here, earlier on Halloween day, Jay Prince Jr. wrote in his stories bowling party tonight at 9 p.m dm for details with the cross fingers emoji you know his brother jazz's party so then when he was on his way there he wrote quavo and no cap and shakur stevenson on the way finger crossed emoji and then in quavo's story the people that jay prince mentioned are in the vehicle with him as you can see and takeoff is nowhere in sight so he did not ride with them and in takeoff story he was you know posted up smoking so he probably rode with his manager or something i don't know but yeah there was a in the other vehicle that Quavo was in, which we have blurred out because we are keeping this video friendly. You slide through the town. Now we get down. Got the first day boy with me. Yeah, also. Yeah, we on the fifth. Yeah, the fifth boy. But be very clear that it's not exactly clear who take off as more than one person had a on them. So yeah, the party started Halloween night and it ended November 1st, you know, early morning, late night, and Takeoff passed away around 3 a.m. ish, according to reports. Now, hours after Takeoff passed, the birthday boy Jazz Prince spoke in his stories. So in case y'all missed that, here's what he said. He wrote, I never like to hear about things like this happening anywhere, especially in my city and to my family. When I got woken up with a call about this, I couldn't believe it. I'm with you, my brother. And he tagged Quavo. Then he wrote, prayers to all who are hurting and are RIP take off. And yes, I know this sounds confusing because it was his birthday party, but he's saying that he got woken up by the bed from a phone call about takeoff. But keep in mind that the party was first and then the dice game was after the party. It was like an after after party, if you get what I'm saying. So if I could assume he went home after the party and all the other guys stayed around to play dice, because clearly he's clearing his name if he's saying that he got woken up by the bed and was not there when it happened, because a lot of people were trying to accuse him, as you guys see. So yeah, his name is basically cleared because he's saying that he wasn't there. And y'all, check out what this girl who was actually there had to say. I'm gonna try not to give out my identity. I live in Houston and the Prince family know me. The only people who had firearms that night was jazz people. But yeah, let's keep going. That was on the 1st of November. And now let's fast forward two days later. And the OG has officially spoken. J Prince Sr. He took to his IG and posted this picture of Takeoff and captioned it. The Prince family would like to send our condolences to the family and friends of a beautiful soul Takeoff. Now, to Houstonians and families around the world, this one breaks my heart because Takeoff was a brother, a son, a role model, and a God-loving human being. 
Grief is the price of love. A bell people from across the globe are paying right now as we mourn this loss. I've been knowing Takeoff, Quavo, and Offset for many years and there has been nothing but mutual love for one another and that ain't going to ever change where we are concerned. This should not have happened. This shouldn't have ever happened in our city. This shouldn't have ever been recorded and this damn sure shouldn't be circulating across social media for family, friends, and fans to see. As I write this, I'm angry about the lack of love and respect we have for one another as a race which keeps bringing us back to the same tragic place of black on black killing. They say Satan is the author of confusion and right now there are a lot of lies and false narratives being spread by media whores. I consider myself a man that's quick to listen and slow to speak. Therefore, to whomever is responsible for putting that bullet in my little nephew's head, let it be known that you can't hide behind me, beside me, or anywhere near me because I don't tolerate dumb shit. I speak these words not knowing whose bullet is responsible for his death. With that being said, the root of this tragedy is foolish and has to be owned by the fool. I will sum this up by saying a in the hands of any human that closed his eyes to shoot and doesn't have the proper skills of operating that gun is dangerous and the results usually end with innocent people who had nothing to do with the altercation being shot or killed. To the homies in Georgia and around the world that got love for takeoff like we do, know this. Let's change the narrative in our culture by putting an end to every argument or disagreement resulting in violence. It's okay to live and let live to see another day. Rest in peace, take off. So in other words, if you're responsible for it because you were being irresponsible just because he cool with you and he know you, doesn't mean you about to stand behind him for protection, okay? That's what he's trying to tell y'all. He's saying that he's just as upset as everybody else because Takeoff and Quavo are like his nephews to him. And the Migos fans in the comments had a lot to say to the point that the comment section will probably be turned off by the time I'm done talking. If not already turned off because they were going in. This just in as well. So Junior just reposted his father's statement, meaning that he's also clearing his name and not going to be on whichever one of his homies side who did this, okay? But all in all, this really should never have happened. So senseless, so unexpected, so sad. It just don't make no sense. Rest in peace. Take off.